Today, we're gonna to be building a multi-agent research team that goes out, gets real-time information from news websites and puts together a business report for us. And we're gonna be using Strands Agents from Amazon Web Services, which is a completely open source and free agentic framework that is model agnostic, so bring any model you want. And it also plays well with other agent frameworks like Crew AI and LangGraph. Plus it has MCP and memory built into it, super easy to use, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. AWS AWS is sponsoring this video. So thanks to AWS for allowing me to show you how to use strands. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the GitHub repo. I'll link it down below in the description. You can find all the information, including setup and everything else, but I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. All right, so first we're gonna use cursor and we're gonna open a new project and then we're gonna open it up in cursor. So we have our clean folder ready to go. Now we need to start building out the skeleton of our new application. So first create a new file, just like so. Let's call it requirements.txt. That's where we're gonna store all of our Python requirements, including strands and strands agent. We're also gonna create a .env file where we will store all of our environment variables and we're gonna have strands underscore demo.py as our main file to start. So we're just gonna get the initial demo working, the very basic demo, and then I'm gonna show you how to build out that more complex agentic system that I described earlier. Okay, next, go back to the GitHub repository we're gonna scroll down and they provide us four lines of code that'll get our very basic project set up. Go ahead, click copy. We're gonna switch back to cursor and paste it into strands underscore demo. So we're gonna be trying out this calculator tool which is built into the library, the strands library, but you can also plug in any MCP server and you can also write your own tools from scratch in Python. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Strands actually has a bunch of built-in tools on their GitHub repo, github.com slash strands-agents slash tools. So everything from memory, A to A clients, read files, write files, and everything in between. They really have a, a ton of built-in tools that you can use. So in four lines of code, here's what we have. We're importing the agent object from the strands library. We're importing the calculator tool from the strands tool library. We're instantiating an agent object with the tool calculator and assigning it to agent. Then we're giving the agent our natural language prompt, what is the square root of 1764? We're assigning that to result, and then we simply print the result in console. But what happens if we run this? We haven't set up anything else. How is it gonna know what LLM to plug into? Well, let's see what happens. So there we go, we have an error. We get unable to locate credentials. Now, by default, Strands is obviously going to look for your AWS credentials, but you also can plug in any LLM provider that you want. And let me show you how to get the credentials from AWS. So you're gonna go to console.aws.com. You're gonna log into your account. You're going to go to I am, and that's where you're going to add permissions for Bedrock. Here we use I am authentication with strands and Bedrock, which is the recommended approach for production. But for developers, especially those who are just getting started, you can simply use the API key, but both work. Go to users, select the user that you want to use. You're going to go to add permissions if you already have a user, which you should. You're gonna attach a policy and you're gonna search for the bedrock policy. Check the box next to it and then click next. Then add permissions. Then once you have the bedrock permission added to your user, we can generate the actual keys. So you're going to click create access key, command line interface. You can confirm and then click next. Add any description here that you want. We'll do AWS strands demo and then create the access key. So make sure to store your keys because we're going to be leaving them in the .m file that we created in cursor. All right, so go ahead and add those to your .emv file now that you have your credentials. Now let's Let's actually test the code. So we're gonna do Python strands demo.py. We're gonna run it. You can also hit the play button in the top and I'll calculate the square root for you. The square root of 1764 is 42. And that was done with a call to AWS Bedrock and using the strands agent. So that is the most basic implementation of strands. Now, if later on you wanna try a different model than the default model, go into your AWS console, search for model access, go down to configure, click model access and you can see all the models available to you and of course what you're going to need is the model name so click into a model scroll down 
and the model ID is right there. You can also click the little copy button. All right, so let's say you do wanna use a different model provider. Let me show you how. So here we're going to do from strands.models.openai, import OpenAI model. This is assuming we're gonna to wanna to use OpenAI. We load up the model, OpenAI model. We give it the model ID, just like normal. We're gonna go with an old school model, GPT 3.5 Turbo. And then we pass it as a model to the agent. So very simple. And then we can run it just like we did before. And there we go. It is using an OpenAI model. All right, now let's add two custom tools. These are gonna be very basic before we get to our more sophisticated project. So the way to create a tool is very simple. You're going to decorate it with at tool at the top. Then you're gonna define your method just like you would any other Python method. Then on the first line in triple quotes, you're basically describing what the method does for the agent. So remember, whatever you write here, the agent's gonna read to understand what that method actually does. So for add numbers, it says add two numbers. And then we actually do the addition on line 17 with return A plus B. And we're doing that with standard code. So now the agent has access to this method, knows what it's supposed to do, and will use it when it needs it. So let's run it. I'll add five and three for you. Tool one, add numbers. The result is, and there we go, eight. All right, so let's get a little bit more complex now. Let's add a multi-agent workflow. So here we've defined a few more functions. We have add, multiply, count characters, and count words. And now we're going to create multiple agents and give them tools individually. So we have the math agent and the text agent. The math agent has add and multiply. The text agent has count characters and count words. So the math agent is going to be asked add 15 and 25. Then we create a text string and we ask the text agent to count the number of words in that text string. Then we're gonna put it back to the math agent to multiply the number of words by two. And so very basic, but we're starting to use multiple agents working together. Let's see what happens. So there we go. The result of 15 and 25 is 40. Tool one, count words. Then AW strands is powerful. That's the text. It contains four words. Then multiply four by two, which is eight. It's nice that strands supports any MCP based tool, including local and remote options. All right, now let's get into the more sophisticated project. So we actually used ChatGPT to help us come up with the team of agents that we're gonna be using for this project. And the project is make business intelligence reports on any topic by coordinating multiple specialized agents using strands. We're going to have a content agent responsible for processing live news. We're going to have a social media agent simulating social sentiment. We're not actually gonna be going and scraping social accounts right now. A research agent who compiles background intelligence, key players and timelines, strategic expert agent analyzing market dynamics, competitive landscapes and opportunities, sentiment agents scoring emotional tone, psychological insights, stakeholder sentiment, a recommendations agent creates actionable strategic advice with implementation steps, and an executive synthesizer agent combining all of it into something that can be presented to the executives. So just like before, we are going to be creating a brand new folder, a brand new project in Cursor. So just like before, we have requirements.txt, we have our .m file where you're going to put your AWS credentials. And don't worry, I will share all of these files in a GitHub link down below. All right, so the first tool I wanna to show you that we're gonna be using is called Get AI Headlines. This is a tool that we're defining ourselves Self, let me walk you through it. So at the top, you're going to, just like before, describe exactly what the function is for the AI. So here we have fetch AI news headlines from TechCrunch. Arguments, we actually describe the arguments that this function will take, again, for AI's benefit. Then we're also gonna describe what it returns. So pipe separated string of AI news headlines. Then we have our actual code, the thing that's going to get the headlines. So here we define our URL. We're gonna go scrape TechCrunch. Here are the headers. We have a print statement to let us know it's working. We grab the URL, grab the header, check for response codes, do some error handling, and then we're gonna return exactly what we described to the AI. Next, we have our social media analyst agent. We'll name it social media analyst model. We'll still use the default bedrock model that we're using. 
For the system prompt, you are a social media intelligence specialist who simulates realistic online conversation analysis. Then we give it a bunch of information about how we want it to operate. Again, you could probably use ChatGPT to build all of this. You don't have to handwrite it. We also describe the format in which we want it back. So sample tweets, sentiment analysis, and so on. We have our research specialist. So you are a senior research analyst specializing in technology, business, and market intelligence. Here we're using the simpler but flexible and powerful agent as tools pattern for multi-agent orchestration. But Strand supports graph, swarms, and workflow patterns also. And then once again, these are just prompts. So you're just going to need to describe exactly what you want your agent to do. And we're basically gonna do that for all of our different agents that I described earlier. We're going to give them tools. We're gonna to give them a description, a role of what we want them to do. And then hopefully they'll all work together. Here we have our strategic recommendation specialist and then our summarizer. So we also set up a bit of interactivity for the user. When we launch the script, it's going to ask us what we wanna know about, we describe it. Then it's gonna to go to TechCrunch, find articles that are relevant and return that information to us. Let's watch. So Python C2 interactive agent, hit enter. Then we can see which model we're using and we can type what we wanna see. So what is happening with OpenAI right now? And the agent is thinking, it's going out to TechCrunch, grabbing it, summarizing it, all the agents are working together, and there we go. Here is a summary of the different articles that were pulled by different agents. And what really shines about strands is that you can create custom tools. So literally anything that you can write in code, you can add, and provide as a tool to your agent team. Okay, so I'm not going to explain line by line how each of these agents works because they're essentially just extensions of what we learned in the beginning of this video. I am gonna provide all of the code though. And what you really need to know is the overview of each of these agents and how we plan to bring them all together in the final product. And as I described before, AWS Strands is model agnostic, so you can plug in any model you want. Here we have three separate models from Bedrock. We have Nova Pro, Nova Lite, and Claude Sonnet 4. Keep in mind, we used our coding agent to dynamically pick the model in this example between Claude and Nova. But this isn't a feature baked into Strands. You just custom code it super easy. We built it for the purposes of this demo because we thought it was cool. And multiple models are, in fact, available in Bedrock. And an interesting idea is you could technically dynamically choose the model based on what the agent decides it needs. So you can have all of these different models set up and then one kind of default model for the agent and then the agent you can describe how to select the model. So here you can see we describe its strengths, each of the model's strengths, and then you can have the agent read from that and decide based on the task at hand which model should I choose based on its strengths? All right, so let's put it all together. Here we have our main file. We're importing all the tools, as you can see. We're loading the environment variables, and we have our workflow. And you can see here, each of the agents are executed in order in how we need them. And then finally, the expert agent puts it all together in a report for us. All right, here we are choosing which model we wanna use. That's just a little bit of additional functionality we added. You don't need to do this. Enter your topics, Stargate, and current. USAI funding. Let's hit enter. Remember, it's gonna to go to TechCrunch. It's gonna grab a bunch of headlines. It's going to summarize all of this for us. Here you can see here, agent one, custom topic intelligence processor, then agent two, social media intelligence analyst. Remember, this is all simulated social media. Agent three, research intelligence specialist, compiling comprehensive background intelligence and market data. Agent four, strategic expert. Agent five, sentiment and market psychology analyst. Agent six, strategic recommendations specialist and the final agent putting it all together the executive intelligence agent so there we go put it all together we have a comprehensive report all right so here's what that looks like obviously it needs a little help on the formatting but here we go executive summary ai funding research on unprecedented levels with a 20 percent year over year increase and so on it is a two-page well-researched report and again Obviously, you can go into much more detail. You can customize it for exactly your needs. I'm gonna attach a few other reports that we've generated in the description down below. And the really cool thing is that Strands has shared memory between agents. 
and you don't need to manage it. It manages it completely for you. So you don't necessarily always have to save previous conversations. It'll just read from the shared memory for future conversations with different agents. And here's the good thing about AWS strands. It comes with two ways to approach agent orchestration. You get both swarms and graph. And if you don't know what those are, let me explain. Think of graph like a flow chart. You set up a series of steps as a graph of agents, and then each subsequent agent depends on the output from the previous agent. That's like what we just showed you with our example. And everything runs in a very clear, predictable order. A swarm is the opposite. Think of it kind of as parallelization. It's a bunch of agents working at the same time. The ordering is not predetermined. It's a little bit more chaotic. Sometimes it's redundant, but their output at the end gets combined into a singular output that hopefully looks really good. Graph is what you're gonna use if you need a very strict pipeline, and Swarm is what you want to use if you're trying to get your agents to do more exploration and parallel problem solving. And the cool thing is you don't have to pick one forever. You can switch back and forth to fit your exact use case. All right, so that's it. You should now have a better understanding of how to set up strands. Remember, it is open source. It is model agnostic. You can plug in things like Crew AI and Langchain to it. Completely flexible, completely free. Check it out. I'm going to drop a link down below. Thanks again to AWS for sponsoring this video, allowing me to teach you about strands. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.